Few physicians use evidence-based guidelines when treating patients with gout. According to Dr. Brian Mandel, Chair of Medicine in Rheumatology and Immunologic Disease at Cleveland Clinic. In an interview at the annual Perspectives in Rheumatic Diseases Conference, he said that while doctors may feel comfortable treating gout, they often don't have much evidence behind their methods. If you poll a group of, of general internal medicine physicians, family physicians or rheumatologists, everyone is totally comfortable with the idea that they can treat gout. But if you ask specific examples of management situations, you find that there's really a diverse set of practices as how physicians treat uh, patients with this disease. And then you go further in and, and ask, well, what's the reason that you do it this way? And the most common reason is because that's the way I was, I was taught to do it. And it's one of those diseases that for years, because of its prevalence, uh, people have been very comfortable treating and treating in certain ways, but really with very little information guiding them in an evidence-based way. So with newer drugs coming out, uh, some of the clinical trials now are giving us information telling us that what we've been doing is actually correct, and some of the information is coming out say, well, maybe we can do this uh, a little bit better. In addition to clinical trial information, the American College of Rheumatology just released practice guidelines for gout treatment, and Dr. Mandel said more information will mean better patient outcomes. Really, we've not done as well at treating this chronic disease as we could and that what we need to keep in, in mind is uh, a treat-to-target message similar to other diseases, although it really is much easier because our treat-to-target here is to, to lower the serum urate level to significantly below 6 milligrams per deciliter, and if we do that, over time, gout attacks uh, really will stop happening. We've known that for years. We now have clinical trial evidence to support that, and yet we still don't do it. So my message is, uh, you've got to actually follow the urate to know the therapy you're giving is going to be effective. And if we do, patients are going to do better. With IMNG Medical Media, this is Francis Correa.